Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Let's learn today duplet and octet rule. You are watching my YouTube channel Chemistry Tutor. Before going to discuss the topic, like, subscribe and press the bell icon to get the updates of Chemistry Tutor HR and don't forget to share with friends. Helium has two electrons in its valence shell and is also chemically inert. When we see duplet rule by definition, it is the tendency of an atom to acquire an outermost shell of two electrons is called duplet rule. Helium is stable and it is chemically inert. It doesn't take part in any chemical reaction. So some elements that are close to helium on the periodic table or those elements which have lower atomic number tend to achieve two electronic configuration in their valence shell. So they will be completing their NS2. They will be following duplet rule. Neon, which is a member of noble gases. You can see in the first shell it has two electrons and in the second shell it has eight electrons. The noble gases have NS2 and P6 electronic configuration in the outermost shell. These elements are sometimes called inert gases. This is because they do not participate in the chemical reactions. You can see neon, argon and krypton 2888288888. So it's mean that in the outermost shell eight electrons are there. So in 1916 G.N. Lewis he used, he was a chemist, he used this fact to explain why atoms undergo chemical reactions. He called his explanation as octet rule, a set of eight NS2 and P6. He said the tendency of an atom to acquire an outermost shell of eight electron is called octet rule. Now the question is why do atoms react? The answer is noble gases. How noble gases? Because we know that they have complete duplet and octet. So every other element in the periodic table wants to attain the stability like noble gases. So how they will attain the stability like noble gases? Sometime by sharing the electrons. If we see hydrogen, so it has one electron in the outermost shell. So it can share its one electron with other hydrogen to complete its duplet. So you can see this hydrogen has two electrons in its outermost shell and this hydrogen as well two electrons in the outermost shell. So in this way, duplet is completed for both hydrogen. So they both together will attain the stability like helium. Let me take example of H2O. Oxygen. Oxygen is present in group 6. So in the outermost shell, 6 electrons are there. In water molecule, two hydrogen atoms are also present. So every hydrogen in this water molecule will share its one electron with oxygen. Now in this way, if we see the electronic configuration uh, of oxygen in the outermost shell, so now it has eight electrons in the outermost shell and each hydrogen has two electrons in the outermost shell. So octet is completed for oxygen, duplet is completed for each hydrogen so they will attain the stability like noble gases and they will exist in the form of H2O. Some elements of periodic table they attain the stability by transfer of electrons. Sodium has one electron in the outermost shell. If we see chlorine so it has seven electron in the outermost shell. So now sodium can donate its one electron to chlorine and in this way chlorine octet will be completed and they will form NaCl. If we see the sodium now, it has become just like neon 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So it is stable like neon. Chlorine. Chlorine is now stable just like organ 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. So in this way, they have completed their octet by transfer of electron. Sodium is transferring the electron and chlorine is accepting the electron. 
Thank you for watching my video. I hope it will be helpful for teachers and students. For further interesting chemistry videos, stay tuned with Chemistry Tutor HR.